hit that record button. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the stream of terribleness. No, uh, we are playing some more more. Got to load up our save, not the test one. Was it the quick save? I think it was the quick save. I think. Does this look right? I think this is roughly where we left off, yeah? Yeah, no, this is where we left off. Cool. Okay, now the question is, do my other mods work? Is there a way to check that? Probably. Do I know how to check that, though? I do not. Wait, aren't we an orc? I wish I could see my face, because we don't look very orcish. <laughs> we were an orc, that's all you remember. Basically same. Also, how... How play game? There we go. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to get back into the 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 view we're in. Okay, so I think from what I remember, we were heading north. You were definitely not an orc. Wait, is this the wrong save then? On inventory. How do we open inventory? Right click. Uh, da, da, da. can we see like our name? Yeah, no, we're stream. Wood elf assassin. Oh no, what else? Okay, this must be the wrong save. Load. Stream one. Bet you it's that one. Uh, continue running executable. Yes. Where's my mouse? Yes. 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 <laughs> there we go. Oh, but we're at the camp. We made it. We definitely made it past this point at some point. Maybe we died, though, and that's why. I guess that's a possibility. Why is E jump? Bruh, I definitely rebound these keys at some point. <laughs> Something's messed up, because I do not want spacebar to be activate. I would like E to be activate, please, and then space can be jump. That's... Okay, space is not jump. Can we just not jump now? We probably can't jump now. Hold on. Where's the jump? Yeah, Joy 6? No. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we can jump. And presumably we can grab things. We should be good to go. You remember red hair too? Well, we're wearing a coat, so. <laughs> or a coat? A hat. Holy shit, dude. I can't. My brain does not work. Uh, Can we run? I guess this is running. Also, that run animation. A freaking plus, my guy. Yeah, I'm assuming we just died or something. And that's why we were back there at our little campsite that we had set up. So what weapons do we have and stuff? We have the Iron Spark Sword. Uh, Jesus, we have a lot of stuff, don't we? Iron Dagger... And from what I remember, we're not good with, like, anything, so that's good. We're missing some armor. We have the Scrolls of Icarian Flight, but we do not want to use that. We will die. We will definitely die. How do we switch our weapons? Because we had rebound that at some point, too. I don't know why these things didn't save. Next weapon. I had changed that to... Right-click? Wait, was it right-click? And then, but if we change that to right-click, then menu would have had to have been tab, maybe? I don't really need the toggle POV button, so I don't care what that is. Okay, there we go. That's more or less <laughs> how we had it before, I think. Good enough for our purposes, at least. We are on hard mode. Technically, we're not on hard mode yet. Like, not true hard mode. I did, whenever I was just testing things, I did try, like, turning the difficulty up to 100 just to see what it was like. I died to the first rat I came across. So, <laughs> and what we're going to do, though, is uh, every level we're going to pump up the difficulty by, like, three to five points or something like that to keep it somewhat hard as the game goes on. And, uh, yeah, there's the restrictions on saving, we're playing on survival, etc, etc, etc. So, hard-ish mode. 
Okay, now, from what I remember, there were some baddies in there. But, it was empty over here, and we were actually able to get some cool shit, so. Snack before workout or workout before a snack? Guys, do I snack first or eat after workout? I can't remember at all. Uh, I think generally you would want to eat before your workout, right? That way your muscles have energy to do to do their thing. Scroll of undo, un, undo size unhinging? Iron left pauldron. It's heavy armor, but at this point, man, it might be better to just wear whatever, just so we have something. Left bracer, left pauldron, shield. Why is everything left? Where's where's our right stuff at? Spoiled cure poison potion. Would that poison us? <laughs> if we wore that? Take all that. Peach glass bowl. No. Also no. That looks almost like a trap door, but... You have some stuff in you. We are actually thirsty, so drink that. And poison resistance? Let's go. Athletic skill increased to 21. I hope that's a good thing. Need just a green pot? Nope. I don't think we need a random green pot. We'll take all this ultra stuff, though. And we still can't activate whatever these things are. I don't even know really how to pronounce them. Pro Propolons? <laughs> Scroll of freaking gem feeder. <laughs> Soul trap for 60 seconds on target. Very cool. Netch leather left pauldron. Iron broadsword. That's probably a little more our type, actually, huh? See, there's these different... <laughs> there's these different attack types, right? There's chop, slash, and thrust. All listed under one sword. How do we pick what kind of attack we're doing? <laughs> I legitimately do not know. And gold. I mean, we're going to take everything, and I do think that sword's probably better. How do we pour a sword out? F? I mean, like, if we hold it down, we can do, like, lay like power attack. But how do we do different kinds of attacks? Oh. Okay, we're stabbing, we're swinging, we're stabbing. Oh. Okay. So if you're moving forward or backwards, you stab. If you're standing still, you do a, a regular slash or whatever, and then side to side, you do the, the other slash. So if we look at our items, chop, slash, and thrust. So chop actually does the most damage, which... I'm pretty sure this would be the chop, right? From top down. So that's how we're going to want to attack as much as possible. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? The bouncer, man. I'm so iffy about playing that game. <laughs> I just, I have the sneaking suspicion that it's going to be terrible. Uh, yes, continue running, executable. That's fine. This game does not like whenever distant chunks load in. It complains. I really wish we could run faster. If we put our sword away, do we move any faster? Maybe slightly. <laughs> Hopefully our like athletic skill or agility or whatever increases our movement speed some because we are slow boys right about now. Okay, last time we went over there somewhere, and there were some creatures there that killed us. So I say this time we just follow this path to the city for where I believe we're supposed to be going. And hopefully that does something good for us. Just keep jumping. Yeah, I got to get that skill up, man. Wears out my thumb, though. <laughs> I have no idea what this stuff is for, by the way, but you'll find out very early that I am a hoarder in RPG games. If you give me stuff that I can collect, chances are I'm going to collect it. Whether I actually need it or not doesn't matter. 
I just collect things. Is that yellow bar the enemy's health? I think it is. <laughs> oh my god, we're so bad with the sword. <laughs> just kill the rat. Bruh. <laughs> my god. How are we this bad, dude? My... <laughs> My right arm is legitimately getting tired from clicking. Hold on. Don't I have a macro set up? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, I think the macro's too fast for the game. <laughs> the rat has nothing. It's fine. We'll skin it. Give me that rat meat. Uh, speaking of rat meat, our health is a little low. Uh, or is that food? Where's our food meters? The food... The red bar food meter? I'm not sure. Also, why are we so fast? Or so slow? And I can't jump. Am I diseased? Did I get a disease or something? Bro, what's going on? Hold on. Uh... What? <laughs> hungry minus 14. So we are hungry. That's our magic. Your limit onto the brain. I thought there was some way to see exactly how hungry and thirsty we were. Is there not? I'm probably just not remembering. So we're hungry and tired. Didn't we just wake up too? Bruh. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Let's uh, set up a little camp then. How do we do that again? I don't remember. How is everyone doing, Chocobo ass? I'm fine. Uh, tired. My face hurts a little bit. But other than that, I'm grand, man. How is everyone doing tonight, though? Nate, Noodle, Rue. What's everyone playing tonight, too? Well, Nate, at least. <laughs> I know Rue's talking about... Getting some food and then working out. I don't know what Noodle's up to. Hmm. I scaled... I scaled the window, or the, the stuff, because I had it full screen before, but then I took it out of full screen. I think that was a mistake. Hold on. We're going to... Go back into, like, actual full screen. Uh, why can't I close the menu? Cancel. There we go. F5. Quick save. Exit game. I apologize. It won't take very long, though, thankfully. Just a second while I change a setting. Turn off windowed mode. Or, well, borderless window should be fine. And then set it to 1440p. Okay. Close. And... Launch game. Scooby-Doo mystery mayhem while snacking. Very cool. You're doing closed dishes and making lunch. Sounds good, Noodle. Sounds good. <laughs> and Nate got a ticket. Yeah, how did you get a ticket exactly? So what? You ran a you ran a red light. Did the game crash? Hello? Game? God damn it. <laughs> I just got in it. Why'd it crash already? For a rolling stop at the stop sign, huh? Can't believe you, my guy. You need to meal plan. Meal planning's a good idea. Nulu and I don't really meal plan. I do, like, meal prep sometimes. Bruh, why is the game crashing now? I didn't change any. All I did, okay, you know what? Maybe it's because I have it on borderless full screen. Or borderless window. 
I don't think I had it on borderless window before. So turn that off. Launch the game again. Play. Stop sign, rolling stop. Man, what have we told you about rolling stops? Don't do it. Just don't do it. How much is your ticket for? Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Rosive, why is everything broken? Hey, listen, what? Rue got a permit for driving. Nice, Rue. Congrats, my guy. Why is everything broken, though? Where's my mouse? I, I kind of need my mouse. Bro, I can't even quit the game. Alt F4? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> my... I have no mouse. I can't do anything. Windows key. Doesn't work. Alt-Tab works, but when I alt-Tab, I don't have a mouse. <laughs> this is going well. All I wanted to do was play some damn Morrowind, man. I was so excited to play Morrowind today. I... What do I... What do I do? I... <laughs> Oh, uh, no. What? Okay. Morrowind. Not responding. Alt F4. There we go. I got to close that time. Come on. Okay. I have one idea. Distant land seems to be what's causing the problem. I can disable that. As far as, like, the pop-up that I keep getting. The game still runs with that pop-up, so, like, it shouldn't matter, but whatever. We just won't be able to see as far. Turn off window mode. Okay. Everything else should be the same as it's been. I didn't change any other settings. Well, I just turned subtitles on, but whatever. Launch the game. Continue. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you, Noodle. Thank you, Stream. Nate, I'm not taking lessons from you. Good call. Good call. Okay. We're launching the game again. Fingers crossed. Load game. Quick save. Texture not found. Continue running executable. Why? Why? Why are you like this? Brosives. Alt F4. I'm Alt F4ing. What is... Oh, my God. This is why I wanted to play the remake. <laughs> or the, the, the engine remake of Morrowind. I didn't think... Last time went relatively smoothly, though. Why is it giving us all these problems? <sighs> Maybe Optijack hacked you because you wouldn't let him play bugs and he stole your mouse. Maybe. Like, it wouldn't be so bad, but my mouse disappears every time, too. Like, 
that it freezes up. So I can't close anything. Alt F4 doesn't happen half the time or doesn't work half the time. Mm. Should have stopped, but Dan was hoping he let me off with the warning. Part that irritated me was you asked him how much it's going to be because you just spent the last on groceries. And he's like, don't know. We just write them. Like, dude, you don't at least have a general idea how much it will cost. My God, dude. For, like, this time of night and stuff, too. I don't know, man. I feel like he should just let you go, but. Scroll, delete. Hey, there's my mouse. Aha! That time it gave me my mouse. Okay. Oh, God. Everything's, like, froze up. Is it still streaming okay? Can you guys still see me? Hello? I think so. Yeah, that part seems to be working. But, like, I can't click on anything. Like, everything's working, but my mouse just has an infinite, you know, it's just doing the little loading circle thing. This is going well. Why? Why are you like this? Oh boy. Uh. Now I'm gonna try loading the old save. Cause that one was loading okay. Worst case scenario, we can just start over using new Morrowind. The problem is there's just not as good of a survival mode mod with that. Hey, thank you for feeding Bo, man. I'm sure he's getting hungry. But the problem is, I, I legitimately don't know how to close the game here. Like, because I, I can't interact with Windows at all. Like, <laughs> I can't open anything. I can't close anything. The only thing I can do, like, Alt-Tab works. Control delete works, but like I can't actually do anything once I control out delete. Wait, can I close from here? Shit, now my mouse is gone again. Ah, uh, you bastard. <laughs> okay, there's my mouse. Oh, wait. Oh, my mouse. Oh, my mouse. And it's working. Close all windows. Close it. Uh, task manager. Force it to quit. Please? Please? End task? Hey! We're back, baby! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try one more time. Um... Let me make sure none of the settings are changed or anything. Like, nothing's weird. Uh, back. Yeah, it's going well, ain't it? Open up Steam, because I closed Steam at some point, apparently. All I want to do is play some Morrowind. Ah. Uh. Steam. Okay. Manage. Not hide this game. Don't do that. Uh, remove from hidden. Manage. Browse local files. Thank you. Alright. Why? Why are my headphones saying they're dying? Aren't they plugged in? I guess I didn't have them plugged in all the way. Okay. 2560 by 1440. Not windowed, not borderless. Distant land is turned off. Um, 
We can turn off the shadows, because that was a thing that I turned on earlier. Everything else should be the same as it was before. I guess we can turn V-Sync on, too. I mean, that shouldn't mess with anything. Just make the game run a tiny bit slower. Launch. Play. Snack over. Going to do 15 minutes of strength training with dumbbells. So replies will be slow if not non-existent for a bit. You good, man. You good. You would have got it more if I tried to bluff him or anything. By Jill but legit was like, yeah, I didn't stop back there long enough. Such and such. And then he made me sit there for 10 minutes waiting while he bullshitted with the second cop that pulled up. Nice. <laughs> Uh, yes. Hey! Okay. So it worked from this save, at least. <laughs> huh. Okay. So we just, I don't know, are going to have to go redo that one building, I guess. Sucks that, you know, we're almost an hour in and we've got nothing done. But hey, at least it's working again. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Get it together, man. I don't know if you're talking to me or Nate, but I'm trying. <laughs> I really am trying. 25-year-old games just sometimes don't want to work. <laughs> they are a pain in the ass. That is the one thing I will say I like about console gaming. Right? Like, you pop a 25-year-old game in, and it works the same as it did 25 years ago. With that said, though... If I was just, you know, using a 25-year-old PC, then, yeah, it would probably run just fine. But modern computers mixed with some mods, not great. In the future, after we do this quote-unquote normal playthrough, I think what we're going to do is uh, play the remastered version of Skyrim, the, the, the engine recreation that they did. Um, cause that's a lot more stable. The only problem is there's not a, as good of a survival mod. There is a worse version of the survival mod that I'm using right now though. So, I mean like, well, there's still options. It's just not as good, but oh well. Whole new 25 year old PC. I mean, some people do do that. Keep like a windows 95 or 98 computer for classic gaming and stuff. Take all that junk. Are we going to get a sword again? Probably not, because this is looking like different loot. Common pants. That's what we want. Iron Greaves? Heavy, though. I mean, we can wear heavy armor. In fact, our character's basically built for heavy armor. It's just... Uh... Our class of rogue isn't necessarily set up for heavy armor, though. All these are empty now? That sucks. My god, we really can't even jump that high. Uh. Oh no, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, we're moving. We're moving. <laughs> wait, did that just say our athletic skill... Got to 21? Seriously? I hate old games. <laughs> Why are we stuck? Wait, are we free? Are we free? Ha! Ah, we're free! <laughs> okay. Don't jump into small openings. It is bad. Walk around. There we go. Uh, sure. Drink. Drink that little bit, too. Take that, and... Whatever is in these. Just take everything. Why not? Back out we go. PSA, Melanie Martinez released... You know what? Quick save. Melanie Martinez released a music video for the first song on her album that releases six days today. I, she's really excited. I'm happy that you're really excited for her, love. I watched it. It's okay. 
I don't know. I mean, I, I have no problems with Melanie Martinez, but it's not my favorite music either. It's just, it's good. But the big openings are too big? Nope. No such thing. Big openings are where it's at, man. You can just, like, slide right on through. It's perfect. Perfect. I need to set up something that can just jump for us forever. She is weird. Like, <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I didn't think that was controversial. Like, I'm not saying that she's weird, like, in a bad way, but she's weird. That's just fact. I'm pretty sure most people would agree with that statement. Like, she's a weird chick, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with weird, dude. You're a weird chick. And I'm with you, so I mean, like, obviously I don't mind weird that much. Hey, look, our rat friend! Or no, you're not a rat this time, you're something else. Uh, Iron Spark Sword? Get sparked? You're perfectly normal? Yeah, something like that. Come on, hit him. Hit him! Let's go. Wamaka, I like it. The other thing we should do that I didn't think of. We got all of that new armor. So right now we're using like common pants. So we might as well put on heavy armor. I mean, it'll give us a better armor rating at least. Although what we really want is like medium or light armor for our, uh, for our class. Left gauntlet light. What are we wearing now? A left heavy left bracer. We'll put on the light one. Even if orcs are better with heavy. Common ring? Can we wear rings? No, we can. Doesn't do anything for us, but we might as well, right? Magic. Miscellaneous. Good enough. And you don't question your sanity ever? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't think I believe you. Also, do we go in this random door? Because the last couple times we went in random doors, we got murdered. I mean... Fuck it. Also, last time we went in random doors, we almost died to traps. That's a lock level 10. How do we... How do you pick locks in this game? I'm assuming we need a lock pick or something, right? We already did that. I know, like, there's the touch thing that lets us pick locks or something. Not really sure how that works, though. Hey, acrobatics to 10. It's a trap? It very well may be. Okay, you guys are neutral. If I attack one of them, will the other ones come at me? Oh, shit. Ow. 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 We're gonna have to run away from this dude. Yep, legit. Run. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> Buddy, per our own rules, we can't pull out potions in the middle of a fight. <laughs> that was close. We are on death's door, my guy. Okay. Um. Do we have anything for health? Fortify endurance. Drain strength, cure disease. Sujima. 
Watt save, fortify willpower, restore endurance. Okay, no. I'm assuming food, though, like just eating some food would help. But all of our food's raw. And for some reason, I feel like it won't let us cook. Oh, wait, we have bread. You are well fed. I'm still a bit hungry, though. Is that giving us... I'm not sure that's actually giving us health. And another personal rule, we can't eat when we're full. Like, if we're full, no more stuffing ourselves for health or anything like that. We got jerky, too. Okay, that... That either gave us a little bit of health, or maybe we're regening over time. Possibly from the food? I can't tell. Now, here's the real question. When we go back out here, is that dude going to be standing there waiting to murder us? Yes, he is. But is he still angry? Yes, he is. I'm banking on his pathfinding being shit. His pathfinding isn't as shit as I had hoped! Bro, we're not even on hard mode. <laughs> but we're learning! Hello? I can hear audio. Oh my god, dude. What is going on? This is good. You know what? I think this is a sign. Yeah, dude, I wanted to play Morrowind Classic. I really did, but obviously that's not going to happen. So if I can find my mouse, please work mouse. Okay, at least my mouse is working this time. End task. Close that. Close that. Can only do 10 before your sword? That, hey, taking yourself to the limit, man, that's more than good enough. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, what's it? No. Open Morwen, that's what it's called. Don't I have an open more wind installed? Thought I did. You went for 10 minutes. You're happy about that? You should be happy, my guy. It's good work. What are you trying to say? I'm not normal. I did say you're not normal. Or are you talking to Nate? Because I just straight up said it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay. I do have open more wind installed. Good, good, good. <laughs> Launcher. Data files, graphics, full screen. Screen. I don't know which screen's which. 60 FPS. Settings. That's all fine. Uh. Sure. Just setting all the options real quick. Okay. Options are set. Play. Launch game. I'm going to need to install the mod, even if it's not like the good one. Still going to need to, to install the mod, but at least, uh, at least this version works. Should at least work. I think it's called Frostfall or something. Hmm. 
Frostwind, that's what it's called. All I said was don't question my sanity ever. Whether you think that's a true statement or not answers your question. You're you know, the one that makes me normal. That's a uh, that's a good answer, love. Just just answer with a non-answer. I like it. Files. Manual download. Download into the downloads folder. That's fine. How do you install it? That's all I want to know. Hello? Hosts. Uh, open MW, how to install mods. Sorry, I, I really do apologize about this, guys. This is not what I wanted to be doing tonight, I promise you. But I, uh, yeah, don't feel like we really have a choice. Yeah. What probably comes to some kind of archive. .esp, the folder containing the plugins. We call your data folder. Okay, check that all. Resource folders contain additional or in the data folder. Okay, so now all this needs to go in data. Wait, what? Open your open morrowind.config file in your preferred plain text data text editor uh okay finder search for data equals open morrowind dot config open charlotte has the zoomies i'm sorry data equals data <laughs> Cool. So I'm assuming I can just make a folder here called data then. New folder data. Let's hope it works. What is CS? Open MW CS. Oh, that's the construction set. Yeah, we don't care about that. Okay. Open morrowind.exe. Launch. She has a boo-boo. She shouldn't be zooming. I mean, this is true. I give you that much, but... Okay. Options. Uh, difficulty set to zero. Press save when rest. Always use best attack. Sure. Subtitles on. Crosshairs on. That all looks good. Controls. We're gonna have to change this again, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The window's also a little small again, but whatever. Jump space.
I'm so blind. Next weapon. Right click. Inventory tab. Activate. E. Twenty five sixty by fourteen forty, that's good. Field of view should be ninety. Uh, brighten it up just a little bit. Turn up all of the stuffs. High texture quality. Uh reflection shader detail. I'm assuming the higher the option the better. New game. We saw this before. Up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? We are Stream the Weenie, I think. Barbarian Weenie. The Barbarian Weenie. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm I sure wish I could go. skip through this. Quiet. Here comes the guy. This is where you get off. Come with me. Okay. It's good to know the animations are still shit. <laughs> that hasn't changed at all. Now, I mean, uh, Open Morrowind, their goal was to recreate it, like, as faithfully as possible. But while, like, fixing bugs and stuff, it doesn't actually change anything about the game. Outside of like looks and not crashing all the time and shit like that, so. where they want you. Head down to the dock, and I'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived. I did. I arrived. I'm here. Hello. We are an orc. Uh, and I mean, honestly, we're never even gonna see our face, so that's fine. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Okay. Ah, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this and the choice is yours. Uh, give him the info. We answered the questions last time. We're going to pick the same bullshit <laughs> that we had, which was Rogue, which is terrible. Major skills, short blade, axe, light armor, hand-to-hand, -hand, even though Barbarian, or not Barbarian, Orc has no skill with light armor. Minor skills, medium armor. I think that's why I was trying to go with medium, because that's the only one that like Orcs were also good at. Favorite attribute, speed, and personality. Hmm. Nope, redo. Nope, Very we're doing good. the same the same setting. You mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And Later on, we will, uh, whenever we do the true, like, challenge runs with permadeath and all that, whenever we do that, we'll be changing it up. But, like, yeah. What happened and what did you miss? We started over with Open Morrowind, which is a complete engine recreation of Morrowind. You'll go no further until you have your papers. Uh, take. Okay. Because, like, yeah, whenever we died to reload to the game, it uh crashed again on us. Like, we couldn't do anything again. So I felt like we didn't really have an option. The one thing I'm worried about, though, I don't know if the mod is working or not. I have no idea. Uh, learn to do combat. Pick up the thing on the table. Uh, we'll steal that. Take all the food and stuff. Definitely take the dagger and the note, apparently. Take the bread. I get hungry sometimes. Oh, what? We can run! So wait, was there a run key the entire time? In the other game, and I just couldn't find out what it was? Or is running something they added in Open Morrowind? I do not know. 
but I am very happy that it exists. <laughs> we can move so quick. <laughs> your tummy was feeling the sit-ups after a bit. You wouldn't have gotten more in. We need to have your cat in your room next time because she was so confused. Aw, <laughs> poor kitty. Uh, just the grave, the ring of healing. I didn't mean to take the other stuff, whatever. Doesn't matter. Hello, Captain. Tell me about Morwind. Tell me about Uriel. Tell me about my duties. And goodbye. Let's hear it. I think that's all I need to do to leave. Yep. Okay. Now, before we go too far, I need to make sure that it's working. The mod is working. Uh, well, to, to activate the mod, speak with the, the, the Briskar Flatfoot at the Trade House. Okay. Uh, were you the one that you? took your ring? Yes, I found it. Here, take it. Goodbye. I'm not going to steal your ring. You can have your ring. Go ahead, stay. I think this is the trade house, right? Yes. Were you Welcome. the no? Care to talk? Speak quickly, Outlander, no. or go away. You like Risk to our flat foot. close to the fire, don't you? I'd like you to help me recover some gold. No. I don't think it's working. Select the frostwind topic. Yeah. Shit. Save. Uh, stream one. Exit. Okay. So, data. Oh, you know what? I need to enable the ESP, I bet, because it has a plugin. How do we enable plugins in Open Morrowind? Maybe in the wizard? No. The launcher? Hey, data files, Frostwind. There we go. And I think... I think we're good. Enable. I have to save. Current list name, I'll just call it stream. Okay. Uh, play, whatever. Load. Stream. Okay. Hey, Frostwind. Activate Frostwind. Take these books. The survival gu guide will teach you the basics of how to combat the cold and how to check your condition. The crafting guide will show you how to make tents, campfires, and axes. After you've read them, I suggest heading downstairs and purchasing a bedroll from our reel. You'll need it if you plan on sleeping out in the wild. Okay. Uh, and recover some gold. That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher, Fargoth. He's come up late the past couple of weeks, and I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Urgoth's hiding place. Uh, sure, I'll do it. Whatever. Don't know if I actually will, but I'll say I will. I'm just happy to be able to run, my guy. Quick, Outlander. I would like to barter. How much money do we have? 88. Not much. We do have an iron dagger. So that's something. Iron tanto. There's what? Short swords? And medium armor. Also, do you have a bedroll? We do. Value of 40? Holy shit, my guy. Um, okay, is there anything I can sell you? I mean, we probably don't need grave dust or heather. Keep the meat. 
marshmallow, resin, scrimp jelly. I mean, some of this stuff's probably good to have. Magic, miscellaneous, all. Hmm. Okay, do you have medium armor? Honestly, that's the thing I'm most interested in right now. Imperial chain coif. Total cost 54, okay. Chain curious. that's the cost of 90 though? That's expensive, my guy. This is all heavy, that's light, light, light. Heavy, 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 medium. Value of 80. That's 114, we only have 88. Um, well, I can sell you the common pants and shirt. I don't mind if we're naked. And shoes. Still a total cost of 107, though. I mean, there's plenty of food out and about. So what if we just sell you, like, all of this shit, too? Can we get it down to 88? Found me... I, whatever, yeah. Scrib jelly, scrib jerky. Oh shit, yeah, we are way under. Cool, well in that case... Can we afford to buy maybe a new weapon? Like a, a short sword? Or an axe? Because we do have proficiency with axes. Value of 30. Hmm, I don't know. A dagger. A long sword. Man, I really wish we could use the long sword. Short sword only has a value of 20. I only want one, please. There we go. Offer. Cool. How Goodbye. Interesting. Aren't you a sight? Put on what stuff we can. And how do we do... How do you read stuff? Oh, Frostman settings. Uh... Every two I minutes. I using teleportation, and yet there I was. Alone. Crafting menu can be accessed by activating this book. Either drag the book onto your character and exiting the inventory screen or by assigning it to a hotkey. Crafting items take half an hour of game time. Any crafting that requires gathering material can only be done outdoors in the wilderness. Makes sense. Make a campfire by gathering stones from the wilderness. Campfires provide a great deal of warmth but require firewood to stay lit. You can also cook meals at a campfire, provided you have the ingredients, which will give you a well-fed bonus. The duration of the well-fed bonus depends on the meal. You can also warm your hands by the fire. For increased warmth and to restore health buff, if you have swift casting installed, you can enable... Uh, no, I do not. Stone axe by gathering materials. Leather tent. Okay. Bed rolls. Etc. Okay. So... Craft stone axe, craft covered bed, craft leather tent. Toggle hypothermia? Suffer increase in levels periodic frost damage when you're freezing cold. It's currently active. Leave it active then. Swift cast, open more when compatibility. You're using for more when campfires being placed too low into the ground. Uh, open more one compatibility on. Man, this is a lot worse than the other version of the survival mode mod. I don't even know if there's actually hunger. So we might just have to, like... We're playing this version because of the compatibility. 
Anytime. Or not the compatibility, because otherwise the game's just like crashing because of bugs, rather. Um, but we might have to just like force ourselves to eat and drink. Are there drinks in the game? I guess I haven't actually seen if there was like water or whatever. All the other rules are going to be the same too. Really sucks that there's not proper... Hmm. I wish the other version would have worked better, man. That survival mo mod was a lot better. Made by the same guy. It's just an expanded version of this one. So I guess we're just going to have to say something along the lines of like... We have to eat at least... Eat and drink at least like three times a day. Simulate the survival mode. Which may be what we have to do with like... Well, hi there. Uh, maybe what we have to do with like Fallout 3. Because I don't know if that's... Uh, if there's a good survival mode mod for survival... Blah. For, for Fallout 3 or not. Okay, didn't you have... Yeah, you have the Iron Spark Sword, which... Is that a long... Oh, that's a long sword, though. We want to stick with short swords. Um... I mean, we might as well put on some shoes, right? We wear the robe and we can. Look at us, man. Fantastic. We look amazing. Mr. I can fly? Yeah, something like that, huh? Oh, how do we equip our magic? There we go. Beggar's nose. Was that it? Yeah, we can only have one equipped at a time, right? So we want the beggar's nose equipped. Exposure increasing slowly. How do we cast our magic? F? No? Uh, not trying to rest. Controls. Run, always run. Ready weapon, ready magic. R. Oh. Okay, is it like R and then click? Okay. There we go. Hey, listen. Stretch! You got it, my guy. Let's stretch. Stand up and stretch, Mr. Noodle, and anyone else that's listening. It is time to stretch. Oh, my God. Oh. That feels good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, hey, there's a cool, uh, you're not doing shit camera. I still don't fully understand what that spell does, but it's fine. Stretches good. Stretches are good, man. They're good for the soul. Oh, we don't have our real signs anymore either. This is upsetting. <laughs> I, I miss having the actual Morrowind, man. The mods we had for it were so good. So if we dispose of corpse, I think we take the stuff as well. Yes, okay. So if I eat one of these, take one, eat, has no effect. I guess it's you're probably not guaranteed to find out what the effect is. Has no effect. Hmm. <laughs> Exposure increasing slowly. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, are we too cold? Are we not wearing enough clothes? Also, auto run? Yes. That does seem to drain our stamina a little bit, but that's fine. What was that? Get fucked, Scrib. Jump for days. Is our difficulty set right? Yeah, it said it's zero. Good. Good, good, good.
die. Wait, are you already you're already dead, dude? We killed you in one hit. Why is this so much easier? Is it just because we're using the right kind of weapon? Because like switching to open mortar when shouldn't have actually changed anything outside of like simple things like the game running better, the graphics being a little bit better, etc. But like we're actually killing things quickly and that's scary. I can only assume it's because we're using a weapon that our uh, character is actually good with. Whereas the, the rogue was not good with... What were we using before? Longsword? I guess we could try that by using the spark sword and seeing if we kill things super quickly still or not. Once we come across something. Luckily, in the two hours that we played last week, we hardly made it anywhere. So that's good. I just don't understand why the game was giving us so many problems tonight. Because, like, it didn't give us any problems last week. And I even started up a second save just to test it out and make sure everything was working. Still, after I installed the other the other mods, and I didn't have any problems with it then. But then all of a sudden this week, it's just like running like shit, dude. It's not working. But yeah, that uh, iron longsword definitely did take longer. So I think it really does just make that big of a difference being good with a weapon or not. What are you? Are you a mud crab? I think you're a mud crab. We can probably kill a mud crab, right? Bruh, that was okay. You know what? We're gonna start on difficulty five and then try to go up five every time we level up. We're like roughly halfway to where we were before, maybe a little more. Said it shouldn't take long. We weren't actually all that far last time. And from what I remember, there wasn't anything for us to do here. We were just like talking to people, but they didn't have anything worth talking about. So, goodbye. Acrobatic skill to eight. Let's go. What are those things? Are you mean or are you... You're mean. Okay. Oh, I remember you. We, we did fight one of you last time. Okay, luckily, I'm dealing more damage to him than he's dealing to us, it looks like. Can I, like, kite you? No. <laughs> You're Nyx Hound. That's what you are. Hello, random person on the road. Are you a friendly? What say you? Murderous outlaws? Soul sign. That's the frozen island up to the north, right? Sounds awful to me. If you're looking to get there, you might check for transportation and cool. Thanks. Murderous outlaws. Oh, yes. These are dangerous times. They'll rob you blind and cut your throat without giving it a second thought. It's a bad idea to carry an anything of value on your person. In fact, it's probably best if you give me that gold of yours. A hundred septums, perhaps. I think you'll find it way less dangerous if you do. Uh, I don't have a hundred septums. Well, <laughs> we just got robbed. <laughs> I mean, I could have refused it, but I'm fairly certain he would have killed us, and I knew we didn't have that much gold anyways, so it's just like, eh, whatever. I do wonder what would have happened if we would have refused to give it to him, but I don't want to have to restart, because, you know, by our own rules, we only save whenever we sleep, basically. Besides, uh quick saves for crashing reasons. Although, fingers crossed, we won't have any problems with that now that we're on open Morrowind. Is 
Is that just a picture of the real sky? Or no, it's moving. The clouds are moving. The clouds look too good for the rest of the game. Like, and I... It's definitely a JPEG <laughs> of just clouds moving in the sky. Isn't that supposed to do something? Beggar's Nose. Detect animals 200 foot for 60 seconds. Detect enchantment 200 foot for 60 seconds. Detect key 200 foot for... But, like, how do we actually see that stuff? Does it just, like, highlight it for us or something? Or... How does that work? <laughs> this version of the game looks very nice. Yeah, it does look pretty nice, man. Especially whenever you consider how old the game is. Like, it's not bad. And open Morrowind's free. You do have to have the Morrowind game files. Um, technically, Open Morrowind is just an engine. Um, so you have to import the game files from normal Morrowind. There may be a way, like, around that using community-made models and stuff, possibly. But I, I, I don't know for sure, though. Um... But yeah, if you own Morrowind and you want to play it in this day and age, you're probably better off playing this version if you want a vanilla or close to vanilla experience. If you're wanting to use a ton of mods, then you might be better off trying to get the original to work. Because while mods are... A lot of mods are compatible with open Morrowind that are made for base Morrowind, um, any of them that need to use like a script extender are not. Because the script extender doesn't work with open, sadly. Well, lesser soul gem. Hence why we're going to have to fake the eating and, and sleeping and all that requirements. So at least as far as I can tell, there's no good survival mode mod for open Morrowind. How do we see what time of day it is? Does it say it here anywhere? Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to. Hmm. Okay, it pops up down at the bottom of the screen every now and then. It's three-something. Uh, there's another Nyx Hound. Let's fight him. wonder if food gives us health. Ow. Uh, can you die, please, before I do? Sir, I need you to... I need you to die. Sir. Sir. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hound me. Oh, take it. Dispose of corpse. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Bread. Eat. I mean, that made a noise. You know what goes well with meat, though? Or, I'm sorry, with uh, bread, some meat. Rat meat has no effect on you. Is that giving us health? I don't know. The only way for us to actually heal may be to sleep. To set up camp. Or maybe to actually cook meals. It did say we can make a campfire still in this version, but we have to collect rocks, which I haven't seen any rocks on the ground. Maybe I've just overlooked them. Hmm. If there's no good, like if, if the survival stuff gets to be too irritating, which honestly it might be without a mod to control things. We might just ignore that part, but do all the other rules that we had as far as, like, saving and healing and 
all of that BS. It sucks though, because I really wanted a survival mode, man. I love survival mode in open world RPGs. It's just a great mix. Like, in many ways, you're already simulating real life, so why not have the, the need to eat and drink and sleep? Okay, so we learned not to fight these guys. Leave these guys be. They should be neutral. Yeah, they, they seem nice enough. We'll just, we'll just leave them alone. Although... Are we detecting them? No. No. Oh, wait, are they on the map? Oh, it just shows them all on the map. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that makes, that makes sense. I was hoping it would, like, highlight them in the game or something like that. Make it a hell of a lot easier to, to spot. Not having to open the map, but oh well. It's not bad. Now, it also is supposed to, like, let us see enchantments and things, too. So I wonder how that part works. So we got all of these... Common shirt. Heavy. Heavy. Light. I mean, I'm not trying to power up our light stuff, but... We might as well wear it. Honestly, same with the heavy stuff. Like... Uh, Nutch Leather Right Gone. Oh, it's a right bracer, right? Okay, well, we'll wear the light one then, because at least we're proficient with light stuff. I was going to eat some of these mushrooms, too. thats I'm pretty sure that's one of the mods that I had for Morrowind, where it was supposed to, at least. I don't know if it was working properly. Um, but it was supposed to show us the effects of stuff whenever we eat it, like uh, how it works in Skyrim, basically. See, because we just keep getting this no effect thing. But they have some sort of effect. We just don't know what. The fog seems a little intense. I imagine that's probably because of the time that it was made, just to hide the distance. So the game could load in a little more gracefully. What is Narmok Genesis Ald Rune Simeon Hill? Where are we trying to go again? Journal. Options. Quests. Uh. Orders are to go to the town of Balmora and Vardenfell district. Balmora and Vardenfell. Okay. Mora and Bardenfell. But Mora this way. I'm very curious what's in here. Warn Cavern Door to Band Egg Mine? What are you okay, you're just a, a thing. We can we can fight you. Goodbye. Are there other baddies down here, though? This wind is very loud. Okay. Seems safe enough. I feel wet. Well, yeah. Nordic Iron Helm. Corpse with bone meal. Guess that makes sense. 
the hell is Draggle Tail? Oh. Some sort of alchemy thing on it, though. Let's take it. Probably have enough mushrooms, honestly. But as I mentioned before, I can't help myself but to take it. <laughs> Whenever there's stuff you can take in games, I just, I have to take it, my guy. Uh, let's check this side. I'm ready to just at any moment turn around and run away. Uh, yeah. We don't have the health to deal with him. Ooh, some eggs. But if there's eggs, where's mom? Take. I'll take all the eggs. Are they dry? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> There's probably more cool stuff in here. We'll come back and check it later. Whenever we have a bit of health. Because right now, they might just kill us. We're going this way. We do have that bedroll, so I guess technically there's nothing from stopping us just camping out where it's safe. Which, we are in a safe area. How much farther is Balmora, though? Another quick save for crashing. We're in the West Gash region. I already forget the name of the region we're trying to get to. Oh. Some loading. That's okay. Is that another mine? Beach weed. There's mines everywhere, isn't there? You are... Cavern door to... Who do not? Run away? <laughs> nope. <laughs> that was a humanoid coming after me. I don't think we're equipped to take down a humanoid anything. So, just gonna go the other way. What are you? Crush fiber. Psycho, what's up, my guy? Thank you so much for the resub, dude. If you would like, you're welcome to put five points towards any PS2 game on the uh, on the list there. Really, that's just any PS2 game. Codera Mining Company? No, we're trying to get to Balmora. Um, do you know where it's at, or are you are you even friendly, or are you going to attempt to murder us? Hail and well met, stranger. As ye can plainly see, I require some assistance. If you be kind enough to grant it, I need help finding the festering witch who has robbed me blind and left me for dead. Um, uh, my trade? Make my living as a fighter for hire, I do. Learn the way as a lad in the basement of every seedy bar in Windhelm. After my father's death, or life, <laughs> was claimed by the Snow Elves, I had to provide my, for myself with odd mercenary jobs. I'm good with me fists and better with me axe. Came to Vardenfell once it was open to scratch out some new fortune among these damn dark elves. Now look what's happened to me. Okay. Uh, come on then. Say something or move on. I was hoping you could give us directions, but... Five points for Gryffindor! <laughs> is, there, is there a PS2 game with Gryffindor in the name? Not that I can think of. You trying not to get blown away here? I'm trying to find out where the hell I'm going, because... I don't know... where this town is. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I see gates. Maybe? This might be it. Just in time, too. It's getting dark. 
At the very least, there's probably a place we can sleep here. Assuming this isn't some sort of bandit camp. Caldera. It's Caldera? That's not where we were trying to go, right? Some random person's house. Hello, guard. Um, why can I not ask any of you about where I'm trying to actually go? Another person's house. Is there an inn? Like, oh, the weather outside. It's frightful. Sorry to hear that. Oh, there's a gate. Oh, my God. Mage guild here. A clother. Is there an inn? Background. I'm an Imperial Guard. Good background. Um, hmm. Little secret, little advice. Latest rumors. Ural Septum is sick, and wizards say his heir, Gadal Septum, and the younger Septums, Emin and Ebel, are just doppelgangers placed in the household during Jaeger Tharn's tenure as Imperial Battle Mage. They said the guard charged a mob demanding destruction of the false heirs. Lots of folks were killed. Any time now. Nice. Go ahead, stranger. Maybe we should have spent more time asking about our quest in the first town. Because we could really use some hints on where the hell to go. The house. Pawnbroker? Hmm. Pawnbrokers aren't inns. We could use it. Your trader. Thanks, shovel. If you want something, now's the time to talk. Shank. Goddamn Shank. Publican of the Shank Shovel here in Caldera. We rent beds and have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services. I would like to know a little bit about Caldera. Caldera is an imperial charter town, part of the Caldera Mi Mining Company Charter, which grants the company rights to mine ebony from the right deposits here. The Caldera ebony mines themselves lie to the southwest. The town has a real western flavor. Makes outlanders um, makes outlanders feel right at home. Caldera is rich and bound to get richer since the profits from the ebony exports continue to grow as the mine operation grows. Um, how much do you charge for beds? 10 gold. Uh, no. But I'd like to barter with you and then maybe get a bed. Because right now, I have no money. You can have this random goblet you don't buy. Okay. What about lesser soul gems? You don't buy that either. Do you buy notes? <laughs> do you buy scrolls of the carrion flight? What do you buy? <laughs> Maybe just food. Okay, you do sell food. Or you do buy food. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, brandy. Grief? Sure. Lots of sure. Spoiled cure poison. Take it. There we go. Oh, shit, no. Uh, I think the value was 25. Offer. Now I would like a bed. Okay, where is the bed? Is it upstairs? Let's hear it. Door to Caldera, no. I think the shadow's broken a little bit. <laughs> Sturdy arch door. Hello. I don't think I've seen you in Caldera before, stranger. Can I help you? Are you looking for services? Because I can tell you where they are. Um, sure. What kind of services? Shank's Shovel. The trade house by the south gate has beds, food, and sundries. That's where we're at. <laughs> Hodel's Mod. The Nord is our smith. Varric Gamain, our trader. Ergola, our pawnbroker. And Falnamo, our clothier. House Lalu services are available at the Big Governor's Hall on the hill. To the northeast, to the Mages Guild in the southwest corner of town, they have Alchemist, Enchanter, Mage, and Nightblade. Various other folks 
in town offer training. Um, I'm looking for a specific place. Not that specific place. Where is this bed? Now this game doesn't tell you if you're hiding, does it? So how dangerous is it to steal? Room door. So this is probably our room, right? Bed. Yes, let's go. Okay. It's 8 p.m. Let's take a nice 12-hour nap. Rest. Wait, what? No! Uh, 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 I can't. Can't get out. Ow! We are not prepared for this. <laughs> Why are you trying to kill us? Why is sleeping so dangerous? <laughs> This better be important. We didn't even get our full night's sleep. Oh God. Any time now. Why? <laughs> what is this bullshit? We're so fucked. Bruh. <laughs> what? What? What is this? <laughs> Can I, like, lock you in a room? Oh god, I'm stuck in this room. What, what do we do about that? <laughs> what? Why? Okay, 12 hours. Rest. Well, we slept fine that time, at least. So now we know there's a small chance every time we sleep, we just get murdered. That's good to know for the future whenever we decide to do the uh, permadeath runs of this game. We'll have to make sure that we're careful about that. Uh, because <laughs> that could end very poorly for us. Uh, da -da -da. Might be worth going to the Mage's Guild because they said they have alchemists and stuff there. Maybe they can teach us a little bit about that. Because while we're restricting ourselves from using healing potions and stuff while in combat, it would still be very handy to have them outside of combat. So learning to make them could be well worth our time. Um. Okay, you have Fresh nothing game. that I care about. My time is precious, so make it quick. Mage's Guild Charter. Purpose. The Guild of Mages provides benefits to scholars, rules and procedures, membership's requirement. The Guild of Mages only accepts candidates of keen intelligence and dominant will. Okay. Uh, must present yourself to the whatever. Chapters are established in Guild-owned freestanding guild halls. Uh, don't really care that much about that. Hi. Um... What's your trade? You're a mage. You study the destruction and alteration of the visible and invisible world. Study magic for its pure intellectual challenge and rewards, but I am paid in gold for the practical applications of my knowledge. I defend myself with spells of the College of Destruction, and I cap, swim, and levitate with the spells of College of Alteration. I sell spells, and a spellmaker who creates spells to your specifications. I can also teach you in my skills for a fee. Fancy. I would like a healing spell. How much does that cost? Um, calm creature, calm humanoid. Door jam. Spirit knife, summon flame. Holy shit! Weakness to common disease. Weapon eater, disintegrate weapon. Six to twenty-five points for. One C on touch. Okay, well, we can't afford any of that, so. What's this about? Hernand Theory. Uh, what is your trade? You're the alchemist. Can you tell me some about alchemy? I understand you sell it, but I want to know more about how to do it. 
since I'm a poor boy, I can't really afford to buy potions. But I might be able to afford to make them. And I do have some stuff. I mean, this looks like a crafting area, but we can't interact with it. It's like we have all this stuff, right? Do we just, like, take one of these cuddles and then just, I don't know, mash it with a... Whatever this is? A scrib jelly? No. That did nothing. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yo, chill. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Oh, where did I put that? Holy shit, it's after two. We hardly got the chance to play because of the problems with the base game. Can we jump on top of the buildings? Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Get stuck again. Governor's Hall? Governor's Hall? No, look, we're looking for a specific place. Right? It's later than I thought it was. We're gonna get off here and very shortly. But I'm looking for Caius Casatus. Balmora and Vardenfeld District. Which, as far as I know, we just have to keep heading northish. I don't suppose I can ask you about a specific person, can I? No. Any time now. Hmm. <laughs> yes. What are you, an armor? Yeah. Is this a road? What's your problem, lady? Hello. Why are you trying Don't to skin stand people? About. Get moving. Excuse me, can you help me? I've been robbed by some notorious thieves. Nope, goodbye. <laughs> Dude, I will die. You don't understand, lady. I am a little weak baby. A rue brush. Take. The only thing I remember is being told to roughly head north. Follow the road north. So that's what I'm doing. Pretty flowers. Sure, we'll collect those. A couple of them at least. Is this connected to the mine in some way? Chokeweed. <laughs> or take it. Why not? Oh, an ancestral tomb. Are there people in this ancestral tomb? I don't see any kind of enchantment. So I think we're okay. Scroll of Mono Raven. Sword Magicka, 5 to 25 points for 15 seconds. I can't read that. <laughs> Take. Scroll of Selen's Mist Slippers. Water walking. That's pretty cool. What is that? Cruel spark bolt ring. Uh, sure, that's magic. The Book of Dawn and Dusk. Collection of sayings and aphorisms attributed variously to the tribunals and to their saints and servants. Rumors flow from the House of Troubles. Count only the happy hours. No child has a sinner's heart. So it literally is just a bunch of sayings. Where's that mysterious noise coming from, though? Oh, God. Go away. <laughs> uh, your weapon has no effect. Never mind. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not fighting him then. 
And away we go. We're going to go back to town and save, I think. Because otherwise, we gonna die. Bro, we can hardly fight a rat. Come on. Die, rat. Hey, our skill increased to 31. Look at us go. We're gonna be a master with the short sword in no time. Just have to kill a few hundred rats. Let's get inside the town walls and then we can... Then we can save. Yeah. I gotta remember, this isn't Skyrim. I just want to steal, like, everything. But I don't even know what to do with the shit. <laughs> or if it's safe to steal. We might just die if we start stealing stuff. What are you? Huh. I don't know what that is. Probably scary, but... We'll just pretend it doesn't exist. That's fine. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Sadly, we didn't get to play nearly as much as I hoped we would. And uh, we don't have the mods that I hoped we would either. I might look in to see if some of the mods that I was using work with this one at least. Um, yeah. Before we play again, I'm going to try to figure out some of the, the ins and outs of Open Morrowind and whatnot. So that hopefully, fingers crossed, next time we actually have a concise experience with it, finally, fingers crossed. Until then, though, guys, have a good night, everyone. Thank you for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, y'all. Have a good night. Oh, and be kind to each other. Always, always be kind to each other. Bye-bye.